Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, I'm going to do a real quick video on how to stop the annoying ringing noise that you get with your SGS or American Tool Pro. There's lots of other brand names for this popular, good quality toolbox, but it does have one annoying issue. When you move it, it rattles. Oh, that's the wall. There we go. Moved away from the wall. Make sure all the doors are shut. Hear it? <laughs> Quite annoying. So, how do you fix it? Here's the really quick fix for you. Firstly, you need to remove your top drawer. Um, that is pretty straightforward. So, open your top drawer and when you fully extend it, there's a little lever becomes exposed. Hear the rattle? <laughs> and that little lever goes up a long way, down not very far. You want to go up. The opposite side of the drawer is the same lever. You go the opposite way. So I'm pulling this one up. The other one will go down. So I'm just reaching across now. And then push in and give it a tug back. That one's come off. So you can see now, basically you've un unhooked. There's a little hook there. Didn't quite pull this one far enough, so here we go. There we go. Got him out. And slide your drawer forward and off. Just show you the side of the drawer because, like me, you may understand things better by seeing them dismantled. So I'm doing that, and this little wedge here is what you're unhooking from the drawer system. With the drawer out, you can see this little tab. That is what locks all of the drawers. When the drawer is shut, that is lifted and gets in front of the slider. But it's the same piece of metal going all the way down past all of the drawers. And that is what's making your racket. And it's on both sides. So, what's the really easy, quick fix? Get yourself some thin cable ties. I'm going to link two together because mine are very short. But uh, ideally, you'd have one of those. So that just gives me a little bit of extra length. I'll lose the end of that. And all we need to do is pass it behind that pillar and pick it up in the other drawer. There we go. And it's this gap here. Use that. And just tighten it up enough that this stops rattling. It's already dulled the sound. There you are. Gone. I can lose the end of my cable tie inside my drawers. Brilliant. What I'm going to do now is grab my key. If I close my drawer, I should now still be able to adjust the lock. But it's not rattling around so much. So we'll switch over to the other side and get another couple of cable ties. And again, it's this that's making all the noise. So if I can put my cable tie around the pillar, 
you actually touch the top of that, um, that bracket that's bouncing. And this is one piece of metal going all the way down the draw set, both sides of this pillar, uh, with that tab. So it's a long item. There you go. Let's have a look at that. You've got to shut your drawers in order to operate it. That works. And now, all you can hear is what's in my drawers rattling. Because those, I've got a cable tie holding them in a little bit at the top, nothing too strong, and it's gonna stop all the rattles. So now I'm just gonna refit my drawer. Make sure we're unlocked. We are, there's a little green uh, window here. When it's locked, the window goes red. Just be aware that these have got to move down under gravity. So if they're too tight, they're going to uh, stop your drawers from opening. The advantage of putting the cable tie here, by the way, is you can cut it if you really needed to. Yeah, pull your slides back out. Get your drawer. Guide it into the groove and just push it back. And then reopen and check that it's fully engaged and it's not going to pull out and land on your feet. But you notice now, that ringing noise has gone. So there we are, one rattle-free SGS toolbox. Um, much more satisfying, tiny little bit of cable tie showing both sides. You wouldn't know it was there if I hadn't pointed it out. The um, possibility that the locks don't fully drop because over time maybe it wears, etc. There um, means you might not be open the drawer, you can just cut the cable tie back to how it was. So no problem there. Uh, one of the other subscribers asked, do the drawers get any looser? Um, they seem very stiff when you first had it delivered. Yes, they did. Um, I've got to say, the more weight that's in them, the more they glide, but they're not self-closers. They're not that type of runner. Um, that's, that's where the snap-ons of this world have an advantage. Um, but with the weight in them, they certainly go back a lot nicer. Oh, that's a big drawer. <laughs> they go back a lot nicer than they did. I've got some silicon spray here, just gonna try out. So there's, there's my spanner drawer. Uh, it will just about go to close on its own, but it's, it's certainly not glidey. So silicon based spray, I'm gonna put it on the side runners, just a little bit, and then give that a few glides, and there you go. And that's loosened it up no end. It is a ball bearing system, but the ball bearings sit in nylon tracks. It's actually the nylon that gives it slightly stickier movement so i like that i'm going to try it out again Oop. on these the drawers that feel the stickiest are actually the small ones on the side and that is, again it's purely because they're lighter so um yeah that one feels like it's a little stickier Just a little squirt along the track that the balls sit in, sit on. 
and it's easier. The locking, not really locking, the latching, if you like, is a slight over center. So it goes back to here and then the last, I'm going to say five millimeters or eight for an inch, it, the one of the balls has to jump over a little ramp. So it is a, a firm push for the last bit. That's the way it is. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, quick, easy one. I know this is a popular toolbox um, design. Uh, if you watch Mighty Car Mods, which I'm a big fan of, uh, the Australian guys, damn sure I saw something that looked very much like this in their workshop. Um, they've got it under some pallet racking, but I'd be surprised if it isn't exactly the same kit, um, but probably again with a different brand for Australia. Check it out, see what you think. Um, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, please comment, love to hear the comments, and subscribe to To The Garage, where we'll be doing lots more stuff real soon. Thanks, see you soon, bye.